Hello, how are you? You guys ready? Uh, I see it. Don't worry. Don't worry, Banca. I see it. The oyente. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hello, Cristina. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, thank you. How was your weekend, Cristina? Yeah. I... How was your weekend? Nazario, how are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmate. So good, teacher. Wonderful. What about you? Great, great. Ready to begin the week. We have, it's we are. Song, great, teacher. Yeah, exactly. Already we had Friday, Saturday, Sunday to relax and rest. What did you do, Nazario? Uh, well, Friday it was so hard, teacher. It was so difficult. I went to work to Sonsonate. And the weather was hardest, teacher. I don't know why, maybe because it's the, the opening of the winter, maybe. It's possible that it was so crazy weather. But it was okay. I returned to home around 5 p.m. And on the weekend, I just take a relax. Uh, Saturday, I stayed, stayed home. Uh, Sunday, too. Uh, uh, and Monday today I went to work to Sonsonata. I come back because I couldn't complete the activity of, of the last Friday. So I had to work just today to Sonsonata and tomorrow maybe around uh, two or, or four hours maybe to complete the activity. But it was so, so good, teacher. I think that my weekend was really busy and interesting too. Okay. And yeah. do you like to go to Sonsonate? I don't like it. To be honest with you, I don't like it. I prefer to stay in Santa Ana or another country. Yeah, because the weather nowadays uh, is so it's so hot. I think so maybe April, May and the middle of or the half of June, maybe. I think that gonna be so hot. But I have to go. I have to do. Yeah, it's part of the job, yeah. right? Yeah, it's option. part. It's part of the job. It's that option. I don't have option. Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay, teacher. Uh, it's a beautiful city. I think so. Okay. They had a lot of big customers. Uh, they uh they have, uh, good, funny people, and very amazing people, interesting people, beautiful ladies too. Yeah. Okay, it's good. But it, it's but it, but but in food is not cheap it's so expensive to show oh yeah i went to i, I went to to eat i ate today uh, my lunch i i ate uh, sopa de gallina <laughs> it's okay. around it's around eight dollar the price wow it's expensive yeah. what a fun what a fun i say <laughs> 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 okay well it's 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 a little expensive for some soup but yeah if you like but it you like it right yeah that's true what well, is once in a month exactly. not ever once not ever month. all right not, not well, ever to you. hi carla well good evening everyone i'm glad that you connect hi. hello hello carlita can you please read the objective for today what are we going to start with who's teacher carla Okay. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people 
people deciding where to go for dinner were such as so to neither and either will be introduced. Okay, thank you very much. The idea, the pronunciation is uh, here, dinner, dinner. Dinner. Correct. And here, session. Session. Excellent. So the first thing is going out for dinner. Do you guys like to go out for dinner? I like it. This yeah. What food or what restaurant do you like to go to? Who, Tishu? Anybody, anybody. What, oh. or what place do you guys um, like to go to? Mm -hmm. I, I like I like to go, teacher, to Caliches. Caliches. And okay. it's seafood, and it's seafood, teacher. They have I good like seafood. It. Yes, sir. Do you like the cocktails? Right, yes, I like it. Okay, good. I As you food. can see, who else? Who else likes to go out? Or what kind of food do you like to eat? Nobody else? Only Nazario likes to go out. Everybody else likes to eat at home. I like Chinese food. Ah, and what's your favorite Chinese food? Uh, the restaurant is Dynasty and Cantonese rice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, today we're going to be looking at how to express the same as our partners. So for example, I like dynasty two. I use two to agree. Or when uh, she says, I like dynasty, I can answer, so do I. We use so and two to agree. Now, if you don't like a restaurant, then you say, and I don't like the restaurant, I use neither and neither. Neither do I, or I don't either. This is the idea. Let's watch the small video and see how we can use these different expressions. So, to, neither, and either. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well. What do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to practice the conversation with a friend. Great. So in the mood for it today. First, let's make sure that all the vocabulary is okay. Take a look. Is all the vocabulary okay? Let me see to sure. The expression teacher, I'm not really in the mood. Could you explain me a little bit about that, please? Uh, is I don't feel like it. Ah, oh, that's right, thanks. Mm -hmm. It's not a good test, taste, maybe? Um, maybe, but not the taste, but is that I'm not- it's for the mood. place. Yes, it's I don't feel like this. For example, let's watch a movie. Uh, I'm not in the mood. I don't feel like watching a movie. Yeah, maybe when I am in, I am not in agreement with this idea, Tisha. Yes, when you don't feel that you is not what you want. Oh, so that's right. Uh huh. Okay. That's the that's idea. Right. Not in the mood. I got it. Idea, Tisha. Thanks. You're welcome. Anybody else? No. No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So what we're going to do is practice with our partners. We're going to practice being Jeff and Bob. And then the other partner is going to be Bob and Jeff. We want to try to do the entire conversation in 30 seconds. 
try to go in 30 seconds. It's for time. The idea is time. Remember, fluency. 30 seconds, the complete conversation. We're going to practice it two times just to make sure that we understand inviting someone out for dinner. Okay? It's clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, Excellent. teacher. Let's take a look. Oh, I forgot. We have some people that are only listening. Hang on. Let me change a little bit. Rodrigo, Henry, are you guys having some problems? Okay, let's try. Rodrigo, the others? No? Uh, no, teacher, I have a problem. Oh, what happened, Rodrigo? Uh, my internet. Okay, let me try sending you to another group again. Okay. Okay, let's try. Henry, you okay? Raquel, I see you connect with a lot of different things, huh? Raquel, Henry, you guys okay? I have a problem with my, yes. my computer. Is oh. um, mm -hmm. Okay, but the internet is okay, Henry? Uh, no, uh, the Zoom is, I joined to other mini sala. Cuando me agregaba la otra sala, se cerraba. Entonces, no sé qué pasó. Reinicié la computadora, estoy esperando que ya no de problema. <laughs> All right, okay. Mm -hmm. No problems. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it happens, the technology, right? Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. The solution is re re restart. <laughs> yes, most of the time, that is the solution. Only restart, no problem. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, good. All right. I see we have a lot of people. Now we are back. Excellent. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's have, let's take a look. Two volunteers. Who would like to be Jeff? Who would like to be Bob? Hi, I'm John. I'm ready. 
Okay. Ready. Okay. One Jeff, one Bob. Go for it. I am Bob. Jeff. I'm Jeff. And Bob. Let's, let's go. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you do think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Well, I like it a lot. I do, too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Great. Terrific. Let's go. Only here uh, is, I always, it, it's called. Yeah. It's called. It's called. With, with D, called. Called. Correct. There you go. Excellent. Only that pronunciation, the final sound, called and wanted. Very nice. All right. Good. So, any questions about the conversation? All is clear for me. Great. So, that's what we're going to be looking at. When we agree or disagree with somebody, how do we have it? We use four different words. We use so and to when we agree. We use neither and either when we agree, but in negative. In negative. Okay. Let's take a look to practice more with so, to, neither, and either. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. Okay. So, as you can see, here... All of the ones that we agree are the words with so or to. So is at the beginning and to is at the end. Super easy to remember. So at the beginning, to at the end. Depend the auxiliary is the same auxiliary that you do. For example, I can drive a car, so can I. I can't fly a plane, neither can I. Always is the same auxiliary. It's okay, so too, neither and neither. Uh, neither, neither is for negative. Correct. Neither and either is for negative, like so and too. Neither at the beginning, like so, and either at the end, like too. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Here we have some vocabulary. Healthy, greasy, salty, rich, spicy, delicious, bland. It's okay, the vocabulary? It's great. Okay. Let's listen to the rest of the video. Can I? I can't I'm either. Sorry. Oh, greasy I'll... like a churros. Tell me, Carla. Greasy like a churros. No, greasy like French fries, fried ah, chicken. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Like pollo campero. Mm -hmm. 
greasy. Love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of to is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. To. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the... So, if you look, the important is here. With either, you need a negative. With neither, you or need a positive because neither is negative. So, if you are going to say either, is you need a negative. If you use neither, it's only in positive. But the two answers means no. It means no for me, right? The same as you. Swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. <coughs> Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Okay. So, what are we going to practice in this moment? Are making statements. Statements about things you like or don't like. As an example, I go with Carla, Carla Alvarenga. Uh, I don't like reggaeton. And your opinion, Carla? Neither do I. Correct. Neither do I. I don't either. Remember, mm -hmm. either is negative, neither is the positive for answering that you agree with me. If I say, thank you, Carla, that was great. If I say, I don't like reggaeton, but you like reggaeton, oh, that's too bad, I do. This is only to agree. This is only if you agree. If you don't agree, it's not correct to use, okay? Carla, give Rodrigo Jose a sentence about you. I don't like it. Um, conchas. Conchas. Okay. Clams. I don't like clams, to eat clams. I don't, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't eat clams. Mm -hmm. uh, neither I. Neither, neither I. Uh, would you repeat? I don't eat clams. Uh, neither I, I not eat. No, no verbs, no, no actions, okay. only the auxiliary. Carla says don't, so for you is the same auxiliary. So the correct neither is neither do I. Uh, okay, neither uh, do I. That's it, no. super easy. Okay, Rodrigo. Give a uh, Nazario a sentence. 
Okay. Uh, I don't like um, either dry motorcycle. No. That's too bad, Rodrigo. One more time, Rodrigo. Um, I don't like to drive a motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, I don't like to drive a mot motorcycle. That's right, Rodrigo. Neither do I. Exactly. That's it. All we're going to do is practice. Now, if the answer is positive, the positive, for example, eh, Cristina, Claribel, I like cocotes. Yes, I like cocotes. No, Cristina, use, the, use today's grammar. Teacher. Uh-huh, Carla. In this case, I like to. No. I so like do I. Cocotes. So do I. Exactly. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Because no auxiliary. No auxiliary. Do. Like in the question. Mm -hmm. Ever. I like pupusas. <coughs> Me too. Excellent, Lil. Okay. Me too. That's it. With our partners, we're going to practice. Agreeing or disagreeing with the different statements. Do you like the spicy food, teacher? Ah, yes, I do. And you, Nazario? So do I. Exactly. That's it. Only we agree or disagree with our partner. It's okay for everybody? I think so, teacher. It's clear. Any I got the idea. Okay. Anybody yeah. have any questions? No, no questions. Yes, yes. I I have a question. Okay. If you you uh, tell me in negative, and my answer is negative too. But example, I don't like the garlic, and. You don't like the garlic, too? Neither do I. Uh, okay, okay. So neither and either is for no. It's when I agree with you, but for no. Mm -hmm. But in this case, teacher, I can answer, I'm not either. No. I'm not either. I'm not either. No, you cannot. Because the auxiliary, no, I'm not like garlic. Is I don't like garlic. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. uh, maybe um, I can play the piano. So can I. Correct. Because auxiliary can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good questions. Excellent. Anybody else? Okay. So I want you with your partner five positive statements and agree and five negative statements. Five and five, in total 10, 10, 10, 10. Five positive, five negatives. It's clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. Let's do it. Raquel, do you have some problems? Raquel?
So reckon Okay. Okay. What happened? Nobody is speaking, no practicing, no improving the English. Quite yes, teacher. Um, I like the pizza. Uh huh. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I like to. No. 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 No yeah. verbs. Um, I like pizza. Mm -hmm. So I do I. So, or so I do. Too. Or I do too. I do too. I do too. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's practice more. I do like the garlic. Mm -hmm. Neither I do. No, neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. I like the spicy food. It's from today's vocabulary. Spicy. Mexican. Jalapenos. Pepper. Mm -hmm. I don't either. either. Correct. All right, there you go. Continue practicing. Remember, five positive, five negative, wow. then the next partner. Five positive, five negatives. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, if, if I, teacher. Yes. I confuse. Tell in me. this case, in this case, um, if I don't agree, then uh, you don't agree. With, it's with a different him? sentence. Uh, uh, For example, For example I, lo I love drive a fast car. Oh, and I don't, uh, and I don't agree with him. Exactly. Uh, but how? ¿Cómo le respondo? <laughs> I don't agree with him. Ah, okay. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Uh -huh. I like okay. to drive fast cars. Oh, I don't. Mm, I don't agree uh, with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But I think um, good response with auxiliary. Do, neither, either. Nope. Only for agree. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Only for eso agree. Me ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, teacher. Okay, let's see some oh. examples. Okay. For example, I like climbing volcanoes. I don't like climbing exactly. volcanoes. That's it. Because, my, because for me, it's dangerous. Because there for you me. Go. That's no, it. it's exactly. <laughs> because it's for very, me. <laughs> it's very funny. Very maybe, fun. Maybe for you. Very healthy. Fun. Very but fun. for me, no. Fun. <laughs> Carla, Luisana, what happened? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. ¿Cómo están teacher. practicando con el micrófono apagado? Uh, no, que la... Nos dividimos las oraciones y después nos la íbamos a pasar. ¿Hm? ¿What? Este... Ajá. ¿Cómo están practicando lo hablado? ¿Cómo van a mejorar su hablado? I reading sentence. I en, uh, I then let's practice. practice. Let's practice. Go. Let's see. Teacher, oh. excuse me. Teacher, I don't under, understand. Okay, Luisana. Okay. Solo es de, ¿estás de acuerdo o no estás de acuerdo con lo que dice Carla? Go, Carla. I don't, I don't dance reggaeton. 
Ok, Luisana, ¿de acuerdo o desacuerdo? Disagree. Ah. O sea, que tú sí te gusta bailar reggaetón. Ah, so, so. Ok, y ahí es. I don't agree. Estoy en desacuerdo. Uh -huh. ah, eh, mm. Por eso es que es importante practicar al hablado y no al escrito. En lo escrito no necesitas con quién practicar. Lo hablado sí. Si practica lo escrito a la hora de aquí, cuando termina la clase, no puede con, practicar con quién hablar. Pra, no te preocupes, pero si, acuérdate, Luisana. Siempre pregunta. Todavía pregunté tres veces. ¿Alguna pregunta? Any questions, any questions. Acuérdate de preguntar para que no pierdas los siete, ocho, diez minutos de práctica sin hablar. ¿Ok? Yes, ¿Ahorita, ahorita vas a escuchar a unos compañeros los voy a poner a ellos que hagan los ejemplos primero y si tenés duda me decís, pero si no me preguntas te voy a pasar si no has preguntado antes, ok Luisana ok, okay. <risa> aprende a preguntar Luisana this... <risa> no tengas miedo todos tenemos preguntas da... tranquila <risa> You're real good teacher. Okay, let's go. Raquel and Jonathan. Rachel, my partner is Karna. Uh huh, it's okay. Oh, Rachel, okay. Judith, and Jonathan well, Martin. Okay. Carla, I'm ready. I like climbing volcanoes. I don't like climbing volcano because for me it's dangerous. Nah, it's a fun. I don't like spicy food. Um, sorry, but I like spicy food. <laughs> I don't agree. I don't agree with you. Excellent, excellent. O sea que mm, compa uh -huh. no partner. Exactly. <laughs> And I I don't Good, like thank it. you. Very nice. Good example. All right. Let's go for the next one. Nazario. Okay. Give me with Henry. Go. Okay. Hi, Henry. Hello. How are you? So good. Henry, I don't like garlic. Eh, neither do I. Neither really? do I. Neither. Neither. Mm -hmm. Really? But I like but I like spicy food. To be honest with you, I like spicy food. I like spicy food. Um, I, I, me, two. That's that's <laughs> one. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I don't like Henry ride a horse. I I am not either. I don't like. I don't, I don't like. like. That's right, Henry. See, I don't either. Correct. I don't like either. Correct. Very good. Very good. All right, Christina. Never. Let's go. Ever. Ever Antonio Moreno, Cristina Claribel. Yes. Yes. Uh, I like the beat. What's up, man? Yes, I can listen, Ever. I, I don't listen. like it. Mm-hmm. Christina, I don't, don't like face. Uh, I don't do iPhone. Neither do I. Okay. Okay, good. All right. We have the idea. Let's try. 
Luisana and Carla Eugenia. Hello. I love cook dessert. Excuse me. I love cook dessert. Sorry, teacher. Um, my my dub is um back to answer. Um. Okay, Luisana, what is the problem? What is my answer? Ah, está de acuerdo o no está de acuerdo? Eh, I, uh, I agree. Ok. Cuando estás de acuerdo, si la oración es positiva, so do I. Or I do too. I like to cook. So do I. I do too. Mm -hmm. I do too. Correct. Ok. I do. If okay. only I do too. The same. So do I. I do too. It's the same. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. All right. We need to practice a little bit more. Eat. Yes. Okay. Yes, Lisana. Yes. Okay. Let's try. Now with our partners, we are going to complete 3.4. With our partners, we are going to complete 3.4 in the platform. Is, do you agree with these statements? Remember, how do you complete? We have four, okay? So, two, neither, and either. Remember the auxiliary. If the auxiliary can, can, do, do. Remember, am, am. So with your partner, you're going to complete the 10 sentences to agree. To agree, using today's vocabulary. Alguna pregunta antes de ir al grupo? Any questions? Teacher. Yes. And ask where, and ask where, no, not necessary. And I, neither, either, two, not necessary. Yes, necessary. For uh, ask where. Yes, it's necessary to agree. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher, the auxiliary is the same in, in the answer in, in the question. Always the auxiliary is positive. So I don't, I don't like I don't like pizza, neither do I, or I don't either. Remember, I don't with either, neither is positive. Luisiana is okay, or Luisana? Ah, uh, so, so teacher. Okay. Let's practice. Let's practice with our partners. 
okay? The 10 sentences to agree. The 10 sentences to agree. Okay. Estaban hablando. Ah, les consultamos. Tenemos dudas. La verdad es que no. Ajá, Luisana. Es que. Teacher, lo siento. Le voy a hablar en español porque me cuesta bastante hablar en inglés. Sé que no le gusta, pero perdóneme, profe. Este, va, mi duda es con el Neider en Eider. Me parece que lo mencionó, ¿verdad? Entonces. Cuando se hace la respuesta, yo no escucho a dónde va esa palabra. Igual que el so y el tú, al principio y al final. El Pero so esas son al principio. para negativo. La, el... la neither and neither son para negativas. Correcto. Va, digamos, si yo digo, ah, usted me pregunta a mí por decirle, I, have, I, am, I am no hungry, digamos, se me está diciendo que usted está hambriento, y yo le quiero contestar que yo no estoy hambrienta, entonces lo tendría que decir neither tú. No. 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 Solo es cuando estás de acuerdo con lo que yo digo. Cuando usted está de acuerdo, cuando yo estoy de acuerdo, ¿qué, ¿qué palabra es la que voy a utilizar? Esas cuatro. So, Puede tú, ser tú, neither, so. y either. Cuando es un acuerdo. Uh -huh. Y si estoy en desacuerdo. Tienes que hacer una oración. Una oración simple, por decirle, eh, yo no estoy hambrienta. No, I am not hungry. Algo así, pero no es una no, sin el no, porque no es una pregunta. Entonces, si yo te digo, Luisiana, I am hungry, y tú no estás tú no tienes hambre, vas a decir, I am not hungry. I am not hungry. Porque no tienes hambre, ¿verdad? Uh, siempre utilizaríamos el verbo to be. Dependiendo lo que es el auxiliar. Porque yo dije, I am not. Si tú decís, yo puedo conducir un carro, uh -huh. I can drive a car, entonces yo voy a decir, oh, I can't, porque no puedo. I o I cannot, que Correcto. es lo mejor. I cannot drive a car, exacto. Uh, vaya, pero 
yo escuché las oraciones y las respuestas positivas, pero yo solo escuché cuando pone, cuando usan el tú y el, el so. Digamos, si yo podría darme un ejemplo a donde utilice el neither y el either. Con los negativos. Todo lo mismo, solo con negativos. Yo no. I don't. I don't like pupusas. Neither do I. I don't either. I ah. can't drive a car. Neither can I. I can't either. Solo es cuando estás de acuerdo a lo que yo digo. Si yo digo algo negativo y estás de acuerdo, es so, perdón, es neither and either. Estos son para cuando usted me hace una pregunta negativa. Mi respuesta no va a ser la pregunta. confirmación de su pregunta negativa, de su no. desacuerdo, por decirlo. Exacto, no son preguntas. Simplemente me estás contando de tu vida. ¿Tenés hijos? ¿Estás casada? Ah, yo también. Es lo mismo, el también. Y el tú y el so es cuando son... También, pero en negativo. Um... Es el tampoco. Uh -huh. Yo no tengo okay. hijos. Yo tampoco. Es el tampoco. El tú y el so. No. El tú y el so es el también. También. El positivo. ¿Cuál es el tampoco? Una consulta. ¿Cuál es el tampoco? Disculpa la interrupción. ¿Cuál es el tampoco, Tisho? El neither y el neither. Porque es negativo. Porque tenés que pensar igual que en español. Me gustan las pupusas. Tampoco. No, porque tampoco es negativo. No. Es el neither y el either. Entonces yo tendría que decirle tú o so. Sí. Porque a mí también. No, porque solo es de acuerdo a lo que yo digo. Si mi oración es positiva, la tuya es sí, positiva. Es positiva. Sí. Ah, mi, mi oración va a ser positiva. Si su oración es, es negativa, mi oración también va a ser negativa. Exacto. Ah. Está de acuerdo. E igual que el tampoco, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No como. No como en el desayuno. Si está de acuerdo, va a ser negativo. Tampoco. I neither podría ser. No, neither do neither I. I. Neither es al revés. I. Primero va el, el neither y después el sujeto. Correcto. O va a ir primero el sujeto. I don't either. I don't either. Uh -huh. pues también puedo ponerle don't. Sí. Ahora, Luisiana, tenés que hacer el esfuerzo para hablar en inglés. Ya vas a llegar a intermedio avanzado y así no vas a poder hablar con nadie con ninguna persona pensando siempre en español y diciendo no entiendo. Tienes que ver con cómo haces el esfuerzo para ca captar en inglés, porque si no, por más que avanzas y pasas y haces las cosas académicas, a la hora de hablar con alguien, no lo vas a poder lograr. Y eso sí. es lo más importante. Sí, la verdad es que siempre me ha costado un poco esa parte. Porque pero, sí, a veces yo le puedo comprender, yo puedo escribirle, yo le puedo a veces hasta dar respuestas, pero ya una plática así formal, grande, sí, me cuesta mucho. Sí, y no hay problema, pero es porque no haces el esfuerzo, porque siempre regresas al español. Es, es, no ese, ese es, como, ese es como, un, como el vicio, la droga, el alcohol. Eh, es que no lo quieres dejar, sentí que lo necesitas. Ahí estás con que lo necesito, pero no lo necesitas. No es okay. necesario. I try this. Yo sé, es igual que el alcohólico. Cuesta dejarlo, cuesta dejarlo, pero ya cuando lo deja, nunca lo vuelve a tocar. <risa> <risa> Así que igualito, vamos a dejar esa droga del español. Ok. okay. Excelente. <risa> No. Mira. Okay, we are ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Excellent. Let's take a look. Let's check the answers together. Number one. What was number one? I'm not Neither here. I am. I'm not. Either. 
Okay. Number two. So can I. Okay, so can I. Number three. So do I. So do I. Okay. Four. Neither can I. Okay. Neither can I. What? Number five? Neither, Neither do I. I. Neither do I. Number six. So am I. Seven. So am I. Eight. I don't either. Okay. I don't either. I don't. And the last. Neither do I. Um, no. so do I. I am, I always eat healthy food. So do I. So do I. And the last. I can't either. Neither can I. Okay. I can't either. Okay, let's look. Remember, it's two answers. Two answers. All of them have two answers. There's not only one. You can use the neither or the either. You can use the so or the two. The two forms are correct. You see, all of the answers are correct. Any questions? Neither can I. Carla, any questions? Not no. Okay. So remember, the important is this is to agree. Is your opinion and my opinion the same? If the opinion is different, is necessary a sentence? Example: I like John Wick. I like. So, the... so do I. Exactly. We agree. Okay. But no agree, I like John Wick. Oh, I don't like John Wick. It's too violent. Ah, now the sentence. That's right. It's okay. Question. I, I confuse uh, in this case, to, uh, it's correct to use uh, two auxiliaries, can and either. And either, sorry. Only can is the auxiliary. Either is the answer. Mm -hmm. But if if uh, in negative, can neither. So I can't. I can't fly a plane. Okay. Neither. Mm, neither can I. Exactly. Auxiliary can. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or I can't either. Correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's right. Good. Any other questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, for example, the, uh, I can play guitar. Uh, and no, permite, me trae un poco. Eh, It's okay. Neither, neither, neither can I. Correct. Or I can't either. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. For correct. example, yeah, I told you I can understand, teacher, but it's an example. I understood. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. If I told you I can understand, teacher, and you, you can answer, you neither, can answer can I. neither can I. That's right. Mm -hmm. Or I yeah. can't either. I can either. That's right. It's a good. It's okay. It's okay. It's like to say in Spanish, yo tampoco puedo. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carla, uh, are you married? Not, 
<laughs> Neither. What happened? What happened with the nervous? I don't know. Como, como que sí, pero no lo reconocemos. No, she, no she, no, felt, no. she felt. Uh -huh. She felt. like a shot t-shirt. Uh -huh. I don't know what okay. happened. Sí, pero es que me está escuchando. Pero si no, hubiera dicho que no. I don't. I don't understand. No, <laughs> no. It's a shot no, Mary, no, Mary. No, Mary. No, Mary. No, Mary. Uh huh. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say divorciado? Divorced. Divorced. You can ah. say happy, you can say happy. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, and happy. Okay, and happy. There you happy, go. Happy, yeah. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. Yeah. And Carla Alvarenge, are you are you married? Yes, teacher, I'm married. So am I. But I so happy. And also happy, also happy. Yes. Porque te está escuchando. Pero, uh, <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> Uh -huh. There you go. Okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. En resumen, porque veo que hay varios que les cuesta un poquito, es para estar de acuerdo como también y para estar en desacuerdo como tampoco. Right? También. También, ¿para qué se usa? Positivo. So positive. Too positive. Tampoco, negative. Neither, negative. Either, negative. Okay? Okay. That's okay. right. We Don't worry. It. We're going to practice more. Tomorrow we continue. Thank you so much for connecting. Practice in English. Practice in English, okay? Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.